Well, we all know I can't stand Karen, so well, that's this feelings be, mutual. Me and drunk it's Karen will you. probably never well, be good. Okay. So I have decided that I'll just tell your truth, your whole truth. And you know, about don't it. want this. You're, you're I'm drunk. True. You are a drunk. You're cheating. True. And you're hot. You're broke. True. And shut she up. Brought it Just up. shut up. I'll, yeah. I'll spread it out over time. So, don't worry. You know what? I won't you tell it off disgusting. tonight. I'll spread it out. You want to talk about your fiery box that's on fire, and that's why you can't keep a man? Do you want to do that? What's fiery, fiery box. box. Fiery box. You talking about her coochie on fire? Oh, yes, she has a hot box. Tell everybody what's going on between them legs of yours. And that's why you don't got a gynecologist? Can we stick to the titties, not the coochie? My hot box is called the Wop Box, OK? And Karen, your box is all the way dry. I'd take a Wop Box over a dry box any day of the week, honey. She's obsessed with my coochie because we all know the ding dong at our house is broken. Giselle, what you will not do is disrespect my husband when your ding dong is in everybody else's vagina. At least it works. What you will not do, At least it works. Giselle, you don't have a man. That's You're a broken whore from Hampton University, and everybody knows it. And that's why we went to Sing Sing. What is Sing Sing? Is it a city? I believe, he Ray, all day feelings. over Michael and you. But Ray shouldn't believe Trust you. Believe. You take your fake marriage and ram it up your ass, OK? Your husband always crying when he's around you. You make him miserable. I leave my institution alone. It's well established. Karen, you're a blatant liar. What you do is you sneak into situations, get close, so you can get some information and go put a fake oh, news spin on it. I'm done of, with your ass, there okay? There are a lot of things about oh, you that I haven't seen. I'm still standing. You, where you, you at? I hope you continue I'm, to. I'm, I will, boo boo. No, Fireball no. down. Oh, oh, damn it. No, sir, they are too. Very okay, cute. So it's time to turn up. Karen is taking shots. <laughs> I know where this night is gonna go, cause when Karen lets loose, she knows how to have a good time. Yes, there you go. <laughs> uh, you weren't in the circle front when we did my 20th anniversary. He tongued me down. She fell out. She fell. I went to give him a kiss, and he just slobbered me. Oh my God, Ray! Oh. I don't ever want to see that again. You got that tongue down your throat, I honey. Did. I don't think it went down my throat, though, because I sucked it. <laughs> I sucked it. I cannot believe you don't know how to control your man's kiss. No, we, we no, my lawyer responded and my husband responded. Okay. All I'm trying to tell you is when we read something on the Washington Post of that magnitude of someone in our circle. The Washington Post is, is an institution, institution sweetheart. Okay. It's an honor to be named oh an institution. God. When the Washington Post publishes a story oh that someone in your they circle. They should give you, you should be on the payroll. $4.5 million tax I'm going to tell you something. That we're not yeah. going to talk about it. That is unrealistic. Read my lips. I don't owe anybody anything. Do your case search. Miss Karen owes nobody. I don't give two sh about how many dollars you owe the IRS. I do care. I would be very clear. Please about do a your public well -being. record okay. search. I mean, Karen is debt free and loaded. Back. You're pissing me off. I came in with the intentions of helping Karen and hoping that maybe she would understand how she's being perceived. But it's clear that she does not want to hear the truth. The point is, you got to make millions to owe millions. Oh Trust and believe. Nobody. Trust and believe, and I do. Oh my God. I'm gonna repeat this again. You got to make millions to owe millions. And don't come to my table talking some bullshit. Talking about me behind my back. That just further fuels me that you all are backstabbing bitches. No, you are backstabbers. And you want me to open up to you. OK, let's see how much sense that makes. None. First of all, you said you were going to eat, and you did. I did, but you took, I lost my appetite, and I'm done. And I got to say goodbye, sweetheart. Why are you just going to leave like that? Easily. Anyway, you know what? Maybe you should just stay in Great Falls by yourself. Honey, I can live anywhere I want. I can live anywhere and be fabulously Karen Huger. Can Robin Dixon live anywhere and be fabulously Robin Dixon? And you are by yourself, by the way, in Hanover. Karen, you don't have to school me on etiquette. 
I didn't come from the Cabbage Patch. I have a legacy and a pedigree. You grew up on a farm. In the okay, future, so. no, I'm just checking you. Hold on, it was my birthday. In Wherever the future, I sit, it's, it's the baddest place in the building. Wherever I sit, that is your opinion. It's no, called the ignorant place in the cold. building when you're in public because <laughs> you cold. have to make it about you. Wherever it's not about sit, you, Giselle. It's the baddest place. It's not about you. This sweetheart. chair, the you're baddest sitting, place. You are amongst a lot of women the mirror, in this let me community who are self-made, extremely successful, and okay. don't have to look in this mirror and and move their fake hair left and right to feel better about themselves. I'm just saying, check yourself. I'm done with you. Giselle. I mean, okay. really, it's just a level of ignorance I won't reduce myself okay. to. But if you ever come to a Huger function again, yes. please be mindful of the five rules. Thank okay. you. Okay. People come for me all the time. They just don't find me. Good to see you. It's lovely to see you. It ain't gonna happen. Period. See you in the rear. <laughs> Listen, I want to be a friend for you. I want to be someone to laugh and mm. joke and have fun I with. Need that. But can you just tell us straight up, is the move a result of the tax issues? No, it was not. I understand why you might think so. Timing is a mother Okay, so can I have a question? Yeah. So what we all read in the Washington Post, mm -hmm. yes, it was horrific. Yes. Yes, it's your personal business. It, it, it's not, it's Ray's personal business. It is a private business matter. It's not my business. Huh? What we read was there was a business tax and then there's a personal tax. Mm -hmm. So it's the personal tax yeah. that I'm sure most people will look at and say, you know, husband and wife usually, as and we know, are, are a unit. Now, so, if you want to have my checking but, account, no, if no, you no. want to really do my business. Karen is independent of Ray. I have never had a checking okay. account with Ray. Ray, this is a business deal and I stand by my husband. And if you really want to ask anything, I cannot comment on it because it doesn't involve me. You can be married and be financially independent. Okay. okay. I, now read okay. that. Karen is not having financial problems, according to Karen. According to Karen, Ray is having financial problems. But Karen's doing just fine and bought herself a new Jaguar. Okay. So you are going to stay with Ray throughout this whole process. Why would I not? Because oh. you might want to um, not be married no. in order for you not to take any burden no. if it were to get there. I have my own everything, if you want to know. We're being real here. I have my own money. Karen don't work. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like, pillow talk? Ray never told you? So I went back to Ray and I asked him. I said, did you ever tell me? And he said... Karen, I actually mentioned it to you when I went public. The company that he acquired mm -hmm. had tax issues. That was many, many years ago. Hence, he never brought it up again. After having been divorced and entering a new marriage, I learned that it's important for a woman to be independent of her man, even though she stands with him. So after all these years, we still have separate accounts. And it's our personal decision and nobody else's business. Now, that's my answer for that because it is a legal business matter okay, that is going on, fine. and I can't go any further uh -huh. except tell you that. And now, I'm never talking about it again. It's done. Okay, okay just one question. Okay, one wait, question. Wait, oh, hold on. Are, you, not, are you being indicted at all? <laughs> yeah. Are you indicted, Ash? I'm asking Did Michael question. get indicted for his dingling swinging across Instagram? No. Um, excuse me, was that in the Washington Post? No, it was not, okay? Thank you. So I'm asking thank you, you a no, simple question, you. and you can get your I'm finger answer, out of my face I'm and answer the question. I'm answering I'm asking you a question. Awesome. I don't believe everything I read. But if you want to act like you believe everything you read, Ashley, your man up there meeting people in London through the grinder, you buying him Cartier gifts, and obviously you ain't buying him enough because he talking. You must have been cheap, Michael. Karen needs to stop worrying about my man's dick and instead worry about her husband. You better tell her not to drop the soap. Hold on, wait. Let's be very clear. You and I, each time we have an issue, it's based upon interpretation of what I have said to someone, okay? This is always taken out of context and always Say it with a hint of funk to it. Understand that I understand the power of education. I come from an extremely educated family, and even though I do not have a degree, not I, hold one. on, not near one, don't need one, because I'm one of those people that succeed, Wendy. God is good. I've been blessed with the spirit of entrepreneur, and I'm doing a damn thing. And, you know, there are a lot of people in this country that do not have degrees. My mother said this, and I stand by this. Common oh, sense is a saving grace. And baby, you can't buy it, and I got it. I think Giselle twisting my words is an indicator that something's not right in her personal relationship with Jamal. 
Anytime she starts twisting my words, it tells me her is not tight. So I'm gonna forgive Wendy. I'm gonna look straight at Giselle because I've known you forever, Giselle. What the is going on in your life? There's people with 10 degrees that are ignorant as but I'm not Very one of them. So when you question my degree and when you no, say, I don't question no, your no, no, degree. you said, no, I did mimic you. you. Said, Let me show you what you I did so we can be clear. Yes, Let yes, me show your yes, ass what so I did. Because you talk about your real woman. Let, go this ahead. is what Let's I did. Do. Candace Let's and I, I were having a heated moment. Okay. We were disagreeing. It was a painful moment. You came down and you interjected. But as you slithered down the steps, to I sauntered. But this is how you look to me. This is my eyes. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Right. That's how I, that, I that's, that's how you came and down. That's how I came down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And you slithered into the conversation. And that's, that's how I came what down. You mad about you, honey, slither up around here. What okay? you gotta do <laughs> is slither. <laughs> Are we all gonna all y'all I think mean, we should. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. And slither. Yes. Come on, y'all. And one, and two. And one. Y'all slither your ass to Portugal now. Go ahead, slither your ass on to Portugal. Okay, what are we doing? Cornhole? Something with that doesn't require talking. Are you all right, Miss Ash? I'm always going to be all right, Karen, but thank you for asking. I, what? I'm always going to be good. Is there an attitude there? Yeah, or? because I, I also heard you were saying stuff, too. Like, when I left, you just, you you, uh, you took Ashley. it as carte blanche to just start running up. But when I was there to my face, you were all nice to me, like, oh, Ashley, oh, Ashley but then as soon as, soon as that's I walked what you out do the to door, I have never done that to yes, you. you have. about yourself. You talked all that you, shit you know out what, Ashley, here. You know what, Ashley? You know what, Ashley? No, don't tell me to get the out of your face. You're the all, of all of a sudden now you can't talk. Everybody's supposed to bow down. Oh, I can't talk about it. Karma is a bitch, honey. Karen, Karma is a bitch. I'm not, I ain't care, but uh, the IRS and stuff you, you like You know what, Ashley? So clank de clank. Clank de clank. Really? The bar soap? Yeah. You might want to help your husband.